So we made it to Safe Flight, got the window chip repaired. Uh, that gentleman did a great job. And now we have a gigantic bag of laundry to do. We are here at a laundromat in Apache Junction. And they have new large washers. And we need those because we have a huge bag of laundry. Well, everybody, laundry is done and we are currently printing out our taxes. Whole fiasco, it is what it is. We always file electronically, but we are still waiting on taxes even from last year, so we can't submit these ones electronically. Whole mess because of getting married, Brittany changing her name, the IRS needing to verify about her name change, and well, we moved addresses. They supposedly shipped to our old address, but my best friend actually purchased our home and they never received it there, so the IRS never sent it out, even though they say they did. But, uh, and we have uh, tracking or whatever, so we can, not tracking, but you can see your shipments, you know, through United States Postal Service. So we know we never got it, but uh, it is what it is. So we are sending them out <laughs> right when, uh, the day before they need to be postmarked. So fun, fun times. Uh, so yeah, we're downloading that so we can print them off here at Office Max and post office and that kind of thing. But our plans are, we are going to a harvest host tonight. We have a really cool farm that we found uh, a couple days ago. We booked it, so we're gonna go there. Um, and then I'll probably get on the roof of this, take the cover, the shroud off the AC and see if I can see anything obvious uh, messed up with our AC unit and make another attempt. Uh, I've already spent two, three hours on it. What's well, a few more? So we'll see, but we hopefully maybe have a backup plan if it'll work out, but we don't know, but we'll see. So as we said, we were coming to another harvest host, a farm, and right out the front door of the echo. Here's our donkey. We got a donkey and some goats. And they also have sheep and a, a really big pig and then chickens. And we're going to get some eggs. Oh, and alpacas. Did they? Yeah. Oh. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> There's some babies. <laughs> That's so cute. You guys want to say hi? <laughs> the little ones. <laughs> and they have some alpacas. <laughs> oh, look at this one. <laughs> That's a big pig. Hello. And we have some farm dogs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> they think she's pregnant. What are you guys doing? <laughs> As you can tell, it's dark, it's much later. It is warm in the RV. <laughs> the Echo is warm. Yep. It's what, 82 it's still? It's saying it's 82. It's gonna get down tonight, like 60, 59 degrees, so it'll cool down. But this broken AC is really a pain right now. But we actually spent a few hours talking with the Harvest Host owners here, really good people. So we had a good time and then we just warmed up some uh, goulash for dinner. So not too entertaining of a video so far <laughs> between repairs and obviously us just dealing with the heat. But uh, in the morning, we had to do some mail and some tax stuff. But then we are headed to a pretty cool place that we have been before that we want to share with you guys again. It's simply amazing. We love it. So we will see you guys in the morning. 
Well, good morning slash afternoon for us now, everybody. We have had a really productive <laughs> morning and now afternoon with Neil and his little cheese dogs over here. Yeah. Wetzel's pretzels. Really, you get a lot of food for the money. Neil got really excited about this. I've only ever heard of Auntie Anne's, so I don't... People in Oklahoma will understand because we have Wetzel's pretzels there. I don't know if it's the same one or not, but there's Wetzel's pretzels. So I was like, oh boy, we got, I haven't seen you in like 12 years. Things are a little bit more positive today. We officially mailed out our taxes, so that's just a relief all around. And I never want to do it by paper ever again in my life. And uh, we also managed to find a mobile technician in Tucson who's going to come right to our harvest host that we're going to and hopefully Tonight. diagnose. Yes, Tonight. today. Literally it's today. It's right now. We got a two-hour drive. He's scheduled to come 5, 530. May come earlier, a little bit earlier. They know we're driving, though. And we'll see. We spoke to Winnebago. Yeah, we'll see so. if he can diagnose what the issue is. But... Yeah. So Winnebago is going to be covering us. Um, spoke to them. We're under warranty, obviously. Spoke to them, said, you know, the situation. So then we had to call the dealer we bought this from. We get, we pay the mobile tech. To send the receipts and stuff to the dealer we purchased it from up in Washington State. And then they submit it for the reimbursement from Winnebago. And then they cut us a check. But if you do get a mobile technician, you do have to pay the service fee for them to come to you. That is not covered under your warranty for anybody that Which ever wondered about that. So worth it, our situation, yeah. paying, you know, we didn't even ask, but 80 to 120 bucks most likely. We don't care. Like, it needs to be done. This is so much faster than getting it into a dealership. Who knows? how long that would even take. Um, you can't even get an appointment within like a three month time frame at most places. So positive things happening today and we got to make our way down to Tucson. So Neil's going to eat his <laughs> cheese, cheese dogs. And oh, we also got a frozen horchata. We've really got New Mexico on our mind. Yep. But cheers to the road guys. Uh, Come along with us down to Tucson Let's for uh, go. some important repairs. We haven't picked up the camera in a while. It's been a busy afternoon since we got to Tucson, but we are here at our Harvest Host, Gaslight Theater and... Little Anthony's Diner. So if you guys have been subscribers for a while, you know we've been here before. We absolutely love this place. Amazing retro diner. But this afternoon, we didn't pick up the camera because we had the RV tech come out we figure out what our issue was with the air conditioner. So we'll share that later after we go in and eat. We're gonna get some clips while we're in here, but we probably won't get much talking because they actually kind of blast the music in there. Usually. And it's a really fun environment. So uh, we're gonna go in and enjoy our meal, but we'll get some clips, we'll show you what we're eating. And then uh, when we get back out here, we'll share with you what happened with our air conditioner and what the solution is. And if you guys are wondering about the cats, they're in here. We got this door nice and locked. We got windows open and we bought some a really awesome fan. So the, the cats are good in there and it's only uh, about 79 degrees right now with a really strong breeze. So they're safe in there. You can't see them though. speak and uh, not get any copyright strikes. But look at these. Show those, bro. Oh, these are the crazy uh, milkshakes you can get here. Look at that. This is a legit diner. Yeah, we're, we're getting that uh, 
to go. Something. At least I am. So what's really cool about this place is they actually have a theater next door called the Gaslight Theater that connects. And you can eat over there and watch a show. But we looked and the show was sold out. And that's actually the reason, part of the reason we came back. We love the diner. But uh, we really wanted to see a show. I'm trying to pull this out. Uh, so right here actually has like all their shows, the type of shows they have, everything. Those are the car shows. Oh, those are just classic car shows. So they have day shows and night shows of those. But then right now over in the theater, they are, what is it, Robin Hood? Robin Hood? So they just do different shows all the time. And when we say shows, it's like actual plays, but it's funny, like the old classic comedy plays. So pretty cool. And if you're wondering about the food, their menu is insane. Whether So there's literally pizza, burgers, and my personal favorite, your actual diner style meals like meatloaf, etc. So you're going to find something that you want here and uh, at really good prices. As we all know, everything's very expensive now, so it's nice to have places like this still exist. Opinions, onion ring, tot, buffalo sauce. What would you get, Brent? Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, green beans, and a roll, and a salad. It's nice. kind of ridiculous. Yummy. I'm getting some deja vu doing this shot right now. <laughs> I feel like we've done this exact thing before. <laughs> Leaving when the sun's going down. As you guys see, Retro Diner, amazing. Phenomenal. This is our favorite Harvest House. I actually just thought of something completely random. Look at I just did it. <laughs> Are you in front of your face? He's Brittany. been doing that in every <laughs> single video. He talks with his hands and he puts his hands right in front of my face. Well, you know, I have a talk months <laughs> but yeah so excellent food as always and we're not done we're gonna show you guys in a little bit we're going back in and we're getting some of those amazing milkshakes or Brittany's you're probably getting a sundae I'm getting a sundae but I'm getting a milkshake so I look at what it is it is Wilson the Echo so the cats were all safe and sound while we were in there and then look at our side view of the gaslight theater and then little Anthony's is over there. Pretty cool spot to camp for the night. Brittany is busy vacuuming up. Cat's uh, litter box today decided to uh, cycle while we were driving. So litter <laughs> was like shooting out of it like a waterfall. Um, and we just gotta do some general cleanup as we prepare to hit a Bisbee. But um, let's get organized a little bit and then we'll get in the back and tell you guys what went on with our air conditioner or what is going on. So as you guys know, we contacted a mobile RV service in Tucson. It was actually Tucson Mobile RV Service. Uh, we contacted them when we were leaving Mesa. It was probably around 12.30, 1 p.m. Yeah. We got a hold of them. They got us in today, which is amazing. Uh, the tech, phenomenal. He came out within minutes of being up on the roof taking the shroud off the ac we were able to discover our easy start our micro easy start or our soft start completely fried water was inside it and it rusted it out and fried the thing maybe so, neil can put a picture of it <laughs> on the screen <laughs> yeah so there's a picture <laughs> and uh that's the fix need a new one so within a few days, he will have it in and we will be driving back down from Bisbee to get it installed. So uh, we will catch up with you guys then. Listen, this diner does not mess around when it comes to ice cream because this is the brownie delight sundae and it does normally have sprinkles too, but I'm weird and don't like sprinkles. So that's that one and then look at Neil's. I got the mud pie, so it's coffee ice cream and Oreos on a brownie. This is a lot so of ice cream. If you're a Harvest Host member, you need to come stay at Little Anthony's because not only do they have amazing diner food, awesome retro style as you guys saw, but amazing ice cream. Boom. And, and the people 
are just awesome in there. Like everybody and. who works in there. And we just discovered with Harvest Host, they added this at some point after we came here last. You can use a free dump station, a free water fill up, free trash, and free recycling. All here, right on the other side of the building. All on the other side. That's unheard of. Pretty awesome. But now we will let you go. You guys are probably getting that right in the camera. I don't know, sorry about that if you are. We're gonna let you go and uh, we will update you guys on the AC fix here in a few days. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we 